So now we have a common kitchen Brillo pad. Brillo pad. And what is this now? Do you know what this is? No. Steel. It's steel wool. Steel wood. Wool. wool. <laughs> so it's finely shredded steel that you use to clean stuff in your kitchen. How do you think this one's going to react differently? Uh, since you said it's kind of like metal, mm -hmm. I think it would kind of, you know, not like melt, but like, I think it would catch up a little on fire. And it's going to be around a fire here? Yeah. Okay. Put the electrodes through it. Auto me. Now, what do you think is the most conductive so far out of what we have? Conductive. Runs the most electricity through it. To me, it was the pickle. The pickles? Is that because the pickle's probably wet? And then the sodium, like you said, it had salt. Mm -hmm. and so it looks like the electricity traveled better through the pickle. Well, not better, but like the hot dog was traveling better because it, it traveled in one direction. Okay. In one direction. All right, we're gonna try this one. Now, take your safety spot behind the self promoting sign. Oh, here we go. Now, you're gonna you're gonna have this for the high school kids, or yeah, it's a video. It's part of your project. Uh, I don't, don't step back to this one. Okay, I don't like those words. Uh, I like those words. I'm going to have this one. Hmm. If you noticed, you had a little fire, as you suggested, it's still cooking, and the breaker itself won't even stay on. So 30 amps automatically, this is a 30 amp breaker, automatically went through. And steel will actually does burn. So he was right. Anyone want to do another one of those? One more, one more? Yeah, do one more. Because I didn't know what was going to happen, yeah. so now, now I'm kind of ready. All right. All right. Now, it tripped over, so I'm going to, I'm going to try to turn it back on one more time. Okay. And that does not stay on, so it, it automatically hits 30 amps on the rural pad. Now, what does it mean when it's on the hot dog and the breakers are tripped? Because I think, well, it's by, I don't really know, but... I think the hot dog had better like better flow of the electricity. It wasn't like out of balance or I don't know about that. Well, what it what it is is the hot dog is less conductive, so the electricity can't get up to 30 amps to turn off the breaker. So it will just keep on cooking. You know, if you get caught in electricity, it'll keep on cooking flesh. But if you were made out of steel wool, you would yes. turn the breaker off. But why the metal in the wool? Um, because the way where metal is on a periodical chart, it has more free ele electrons, so electricity just goes through it a lot faster. Now, since the steel wool is so much fun, we decided to try it, but not having a compact piece of steel wool uh, make it much longer. This was Michael's idea. I see. So we're gonna put one end on in here, one end on here, and keep it far apart. Okay. I'll hold the plug in with the plug in, and it's completely safe. And you should not be doing this at home. I repeat, repeat it. Do not. That's good. Don't don't put it through. I'm not like that. Hold it up. Mm -hmm. Let's see what's gonna happen. Now see if you can fade it out a little more. Make make it thinner. Oh thinner. Yeah. Pull. Like this. Now what we're doing is making the path of electricity. Oh, this is crazy. A little more crazy, not as direct. All right, ready? Safe position. This one comes from the Now, what do you think is going to happen with it done this way? Uh, since it's, you know, like you said, it's not really like a ball form. It's more spready. I think it's going to spread like all over, like very fast, like you said, faster and all over it. Mm -hmm. So it's probably going to, maybe it's going to burn more. It's going to burn. Maybe it's going to burn. I, I don't know. I don't know. I think it's going to burn more and not more explosive. Right, think the breaker will trip? Yeah. Right, think the breaker will still trip? I think it'll trip. I think it's a trip. I think it might, might not. Let's see. Let's see. Nope, the, the breaker did not trip. This is still, still alive, I think. So 
So for safety, let's turn the breaker off. Unplug it. Unplug it. Now there's no longer electricity here. What do you think the difference was between the first one, this one, and when it's all pulled apart? Well, right here, this one, you like you can see it burned. Like one end is not that kind of burned. This one's like in the middle is burned and this side is burned. It could just blow up from this side more. And this one is just, you can take out the one. It was burned, both ends burned. And it is like in the middle. So this one's kind of more like current and all the current is traveling just took it all apart. Now we, we have studied current a little bit and you know that the current goes over smaller wires heat up faster. Yes. So since it's pulled apart, the, the smaller wires just melt. This bundled all together acted as one big wire and it did get the, the amperage was able to go through and turn the breaker off. Hi, it's Bill again. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please share with your friends on Facebook and Twitter. For more information, go to generation3electric.com.